Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you in easy steps how to make this Snow Queen seed beads pendant. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting in this way you give me signals to continue and that you like my work. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 8 beads in silver color and I'm using two colors of 11 on seed beads, blue and white. This is a bale. This is a chain, so you should use some kind of chain or strap to attach your pendant to. This is Neil Bond beading thread, but you could use other brand of your choice. Recently I'm using this one to try it, although it splits in two, otherwise I like it. Here is a size 11 beading needle, you could use size 10 or 12. I think the smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are pliers to help me to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful Ato beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making it by making a loop going twice through that loop I've made and pulling. And then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And then I go in the following eight hole. Now guys, what I need to take are three white beads. And as I'm exiting from this eight hole, I go in the following one. I repeat this and do this two more times and do this two more times Okay, my friends, now I do the following thing. I go through two white beads and I take three blue beads, one white and three blue. And I go in the next uh, white bead. Then three, one, three, go in the next white. Again, three, one, three, go in the next white. Three, one, three, go in the last white. Okay, my friends, now what I want to do is go through these three blue beads and through the white after that. Then I also go through the following two blue beads. And I take two blue beads, one white bead and two blue beads. And I go here through the last two blue beads, okay? I'm skipping this first blue and going through the following two. Okay, now I have this. Then I skip the white and the following two blue beads. I mean, I just go through them without adding anything. And I repeat the same thing. Take two blue, one white, two blue, and go through the last blue, two blue beads. And if you can, through the white as well in one movement. Okay, and I will repeat this two more times. Okay. 
Then I take 3 white beads, 1 silver and 3 white beads and I go in the following white. Okay, then again the same thing and I go in the next white. And the same thing and until uh, the end of this row guys, I'm going to be connecting the white beads that you see here with this same sequence of three whites, one silver and three whites. And when I'm up to here, to the last step, I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last beads from this row. And you see where I'm adding them? At the first white bead where I started the whole row from. Okay. Then what I want to do is go in this direction. Then I go through the silver bead and through the following white after that. Then I take three blue beads. And I go through the white, silver, white after that. Just pull gently. Then three again. White, silver and white. And three blue and go through the white, silver, white. Okay, my friends, and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three blue beads from this row. Now what I want to do is exit through the first blue bead. Okay my friends and now I'm taking three white beads and three blue beads and I'm going in the next blue. Okay and then I have this. After that I go through the newly added three blue beads. Now I have this. Then I take three white beads and go in the next blue. Then I go through these newly added three white beads. And then I go through this blue middle part here. And then in this direction through all of those beads, reaching for the next blue. And when I pull guys, I have this. Then I'm going to repeat it. Three white beads and three blue beads and go in the next blue. Then skip this blue in the center and go only through these three beads, you see. Then take three white beads. Go in the next blue. And then go back through these three. these three whites. I have this and I want to go back by going through these three blue beads and then through this following two blue and in this direction until I reach the next blue. Okay, I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself. Three white and three blue. Go in the middle blue. Turn it in this direction. Skip this blue that I'm going through and go through these three blue beads and pull. Take three white beads. Go in the next blue then skip it and go through these three white beads
in my next step again I'm going through these three blue beads and then in this direction through all of those beads like this and I'm exiting through the first blue bead okay and I will continue this until the end and I'll meet you here guys if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video see how I'm doing these steps and repeat them okay my friends and I just did this last element and now what I need to take are 11 white beads okay I have my 11 here and what I do is that I go through these three white beads okay then in my next step I'm going here through this blue one and then I directly go through the next three white beads okay and I take 11 more white beads I go through these three whites just like this then I go through the following two blue beads and through these three whites okay then I take 11 more go the same way here and exit like this okay guys and I'm going to finish this row absolutely the same way that I showed you and I'll be back okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last 11 beads from this row okay and what I want to do is to go back here to all of my beads okay like this now I want to flip my work and I want to make an additional reinforcement of this row okay how I do this I go through all of those beads I take two then again I go through all of those beads here at the angle I take two then I repeat the same thing going through all of the beads just like that two again and like that and again And I'm going to continue these guys until here and I'll meet you. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding these last two beads from this row. And I go through six white beads in this direction. And when I go through six, in fact I'm exiting out of the middle bead that I have here. The middle of my 11. And I take two blue beads and I go back through this white how I know this one is the middle one well before it I have five beads one two three four five 
and after it I have five beads one two three four five okay then what I want to do is go through all of those beads and exit out of these two beads that I added in my previous row and I take one blue bead and I go back like this through these two okay then I repeat absolutely the same thing of going through six beads in total okay two blue beads go back through this one and then through all of those beads exiting out of the two whites that I added in my previous row one blue go back like this then two blue beads and if you can in one movement go through all of those beads aiming for the two beads from the previous row then take one go back like this then go through six add two go here at one and i will continue this and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm just adding my last blue bead from this row now what i want to do is go through the same blue bead and i'm taking here five blue beads and i go in this blue at the top here and in the following blue then again i take five beads go in this blue five again go here in this blue okay then again five and go here five again and i'm going to add five beads everywhere guys connecting the blue beads that are sticking out the two at the top and the one at the corner at the inner angle okay and i will continue this and meet you here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last five beads from this row and then i go through these beads here at the angle now i'm one bead after the angle and i will go through one more bead here so this is the bead at the inner angle and i'm going through two more beads after that okay and i take six white beads and as i'm exiting here i go through these two beads before the inner angle and then again through the inner angle and I'm reinforcing okay and after i reinforce i want to find a place and make a knot okay let's say i'll make 
my knot somewhere here. I'm making a loop. I'm going twice through the loop I've made. I'm pulling. And then I'm going through two beads in this direction. And I cut this tail thread. Okay, so now I'm taking my pendant holder. I open it up with my pliers. I put it here. And I squeeze back like this. Mm -hmm. 